Hi YouTubers, this is my fourth and final part of the uh, long case clock made in 1985 by myself for the last two or three weeks it's been on test since I've had it completely stripped down and just making final small adjustments as the time has gone on now then when I first made this clock in 1985 it was the first one I'd ever made I started out really as a sort of a, a model engineer and I, I just thought one day I'd, I'd like to do something quite different so I started to hunt around for clock designs and stuff like that and I came across this guy called uh, Alan Timmins in the uh, in the model engineer and um, I decided to have a go. I was a bit uh, prepudicious about it to start with because although I'd always sort of had a fascination for clock, uh, clocks, I'd never really given it any thought about making one. But anyway, I set to and it took about 18 months uh, of uh, spare time work but instead of following the the complete uh, design which is a uh, 1790 design um, I made small various changes because I didn't have the full uh, equipment that uh, you know um, a proper clock maker would have like cutters and various bits and pieces like that so with being used to model engineering I was sort of working uh, to very fine limits uh, I thought well I shouldn't have no problem making a clock in fact uh, when I finished it it was so fine and everything so close fitting it just wouldn't work at all because everything was so close fitting together uh, but anyway when I first made it uh, I used over thick plates which you could probably see they're probably quite a bit thicker than your, your sort of standard size things and also instead of just having four um, pillars you know um, I've put five in for extra, extra security extra strength and uh, so that's a little bit different as well now the other thing of course was uh, the pinions are fabricated I don't know if you can see that there but when I made them I made them so that uh, the the various the various um, pieces you know between the plates was fabricated instead of out of one piece and of course I use different materials the the materials that I use for the pinions was bronze and of course the cock at the back was the same as that's bronze all the stuff that was sort of on the move all the time I thought I'd give it a, a better chance uh, in using um, what I thought was better wearing properties now when I took it down uh, to look at after a long number of years uh, the strike had stopped working after about six or seven years and I found the reason was that one of the pins which I uh, which I spoke about in the last uh, episode uh, had jammed in, into one of the pinions so that's what had caused that uh, so once that was removed uh, it was virtually really just as it was when I first made it 
uh, on examining it for wear, uh, I found there was virtually no wear at all, except slight, slight, and I'm talking slight, um, wear on the on the actual um, pallets. Uh, so I'm quite pleased with that really because it's it's been nearly 30 years and this is the first time I've touched it since and uh, it's just more or less as I first made it uh, it's been moved from six different locations since I first made this so that would account for a couple of loose screws that was missing one was missing from the back of the bridge there and uh, various other places I can't remember now but um, <coughs> yeah I, I'm really sort of pleased with it I, I put extra bushings in, in here they haven't been done since they was put in from new uh, there's one there and of course at the back and if you can see round there, all the same, you know. Um, so, I mean, I really made a good substantial job of it. So I'm quite pleased, but uh, it's been knocked about a bit as the as the case. Uh, if you see the, uh, the, uh, the last uh, thing I put up with the hood, uh, there's various lumps and pieces that's been knocked into it. So I'm hoping once I get this back in the case, which will be very shortly now, uh, it'll be all ready again. Um, maybe perhaps for another 30 years. Who knows? Um, I was going to say something else now, but it's 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 completely gone. Um, this is the original cat gut, of course. That. Uh, uh, that was installed at the time when I first made the clock um, and as you can see it's uh, it's got a good healthy good healthy swing to the pendulum and uh, that's it I'll just let you um, hear the strike before I uh, switch off So there you go, there you have it, 11 o'clock, and that is the time, actual time now. Okay then, till next time, I'll say bye for now.